today we're in East Ham, which as the name would suggest is in East London and it's somewhere I've never been. Me neither, first time. Yeah. East Ham is famous for South Indian food. They also have a big Romanian community. Honestly, food from all around the world. But what's crazy is that I've been to India, I've been to Sri Lanka, but I've never been to East Ham and they have so many great Indian, Sri Lankan restaurants. So we finally took the tube out and we're gonna hopefully eat some really good food. India but specifically Kerala today but I've never really had it but why I'm so excited is because when I was reading about the food they said that it has influences from so many different places so 3000 BCE they had like traders from Southeast Asia then they had the Portuguese who came in so many different countries have kind of come through so many different so many different religions so you've got all these influences in the food from South India and specifically Kerala and that's why I think it's gonna be so good because foods where you have the best from all these different countries combined into one type of cuisine are always the tastiest. So that's why I'm excited to try it. So this is our first stop. It's called Royal Chef and they are South Indian food from Kerala. So we're gonna get seafood. We're gonna get some dishes that I've only ever read about and never had. I'm so excited. It looks really good based on the food back there. What kind of tea is it? It's like masala tea, so they call it Thai. Oh, yeah. It's like so much sugar. Like, I can't even taste something else apart from sugar. Oh, it's called Thank you. That's how it is. It's like a chai latte kind of is how. Okay, but halfway sugar. Yes, Oh my god, I love it so much. I know you say it's too much sugar, but it's just the right amount of sugar for me. <laughs> so this is the putu? Yeah. This is the... Sodi. How do you pronounce it? Sodi. Sodi? This is the egg curry? Yeah. This is sambal. Thank you so much. Okay, so this is putu. I'm probably mispronouncing it. But it is ground rice and coconut and it's shaped into a cylinder and you have it with this sambal and then you also have it with this. Okay, I've never tried this before. Oh, wow. Mm. I'm just, I'm gonna dip it. Yeah. Yeah, you have to use, as long as your hands are properly sanitized, you have to use your hands. Mm. Mm. I love it. I love it such a coconut. Yeah, mm. and it's not it, like I would eat it more coconutty, but it's not too yeah. coconutty. Mm -hmm. It's okay. Thank you so much. Thank you. We also got an egg curry. Mm. Yum! Look at that egg curry. So that's also egg curries are popular in Kerala. I've read. Spicy egg curry. Tastes cumin. Let me, let me have some egg. Mm. I've never had a whole piece of egg in a curry before. I like it. Oh, it's pretty spicy actually. Nice. Good for you if you can handle that spice. <laughs> I love this one. So much flavor. Mm -hmm. mm. But it almost tastes a bit meaty. It like there's no meat in it, but it's it's so rich mm. that it tastes like. Mm. Meat has been stewed in it. Spicy. Yeah. Watch while Alba pretends to serve Teresa and then changes her mind. Okay, so this is seafood kotu roti. So what it is is, I think originally they would cut up like all roti and mix it with spices and different things and this one has seafood in it. Oh, I love the food so much. Oh, you can taste the sea. You can really taste the seafood in it. It's spicy. What I love about it is each individual little piece is like layered in spice, you know, chilies and onions and seafood. Yeah. And I think there's some squid because your teeth go right up against the squid. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
spicy. I think it doesn't need it. When I was in Sri Lanka, I used to try and eat koju roti as much as possible. It's so good, and you don't really get it that common in restaurants, unless you're in a southern Indian or Sri Lankan restaurant. It's so good. We could order another roti. No, 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 guys, we're going somewhere else. It's actually a good idea. Yeah, you got it. Exactly. Oh, exactly. That's not how food tour works. <laughs> so, what is the next place? Let's head there. <laughs> First stop is done. What did you think? Really nice, but spicy. Yeah. For me, it was a right amount of spice. Yeah. I'm oh, good. But I mean, it was. I recognize that it is spicy. And now we're off to stop two, which is more food from South India because. Yeah, I know. We can't go to South India right now, yeah, exactly. so we just find an alternative here in London. Yeah, let's um, go. Can you pretend you are looking the menu on Oh my gosh, you can smell the coconut. Mm, I can already, yeah. Oh my god, they smell so good. Mm. Wow. Never tried this one. Mm. Oh, you've oh, never good. tried them? Mm. No, never. Oh, oh. Made it so well. What the heck is it? I mean, like, um, mm. oh, so coconut. So it's like a pancake with fermented rice butter and coconut milk. Mm. So here they're mm. called apam in South India, but in Sri Lanka they're called poppers. So, so good, fresh, like just made, very, very properly homemade, just there in the kitchen. That's wow, all. this looks so good. That's all we ordered? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh my god, it's been waiting for such a long time. You should say that on the video as well, in case people listen to how you come Yeah, it wasn't quick. Oh, we don't have cutlery. No. Okay. You don't need cutlery. Use oh, the whopper. Okay, okay. okay. Yeah, honestly, it's like that. If I'm not made for you, then why does my heart tell me that I am? I need to serenade my food. <laughs> so good. But it's lovely. Yeah. Got a prawn, oh it's still steaming. Look how big that is. Oh yeah. The hopper or a pum is really cookery, almost sweet, thick. And the king prawn masala is spicy. Mm. But like spiced, not spicy. Mm -hmm. Look at it, thick, it's fluffy. So I have a, one of my best friends in Sri Lankan and he's made this. I actually have a hopper pan at home. This is so much better than what we've made at home. <laughs> okay, so we're done. I thought this was so good. You got this kind of spiced, but not spicy, tomato rich with the kind of light, fluffy hopper. So good. Bye. 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 Thank you. He's cute. Recording, take two. <laughs> this is what happens when you go on food tour with Becky. Rebecca, roaming Rebecca. <laughs> she is strategizing. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. Dun, Wait. Dun, dun. <laughs> what are you thinking to get us okay. at our third restaurant of the tour? And what is the name of this place again? I'm a, I'm a, yeah. Anantha, Anantha Okay. Okay, so 
You guys have never had dosas, so I think I, you guys need to try dosas. It's not exactly from Kerala, but it's Southern Indian. And if you've never had one, let's see. Yeah. We need How does that make you feel? Like, dosas, what sort of emotions do they bring out in? <laughs> a dosa a day keeps the doctor away. <laughs> And then I'm thinking some fried fish because there's beautiful pictures of the ocean everywhere, so we need okay. fish. <laughs> Why are you sniffing a mango last night? <laughs> so good. I always sniff things before eating them. Mm. Very sweet, very lovely. Oh, thank you. It's like an Indian baguette. Like anything like a baguette. Like good size, right? <laughs> and this is, you can get three and four foot long dosas in London. Is something else coming? No. no. <laughs> mm -hmm. Struggle is real. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This is so common. Like, in India, dosas, even in, in London, there's so many dosa places around. Really? Yeah. yeah you really Guys, Teresa is so excited mm. to find out there's something in the dosa. It it's was, pretty. She's like a cute I'm cheese. really surprised. It's potato? Yeah. Let's it's check. like vegetarian, so it's potatoes, kind of a curried potato in there, oh, masala awesome. dosa. <laughs> like, I wasn't expecting so that. Cheese. Nice. Mm. The dosas so are cool. filled with surprises. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Life is like a dosa, full of surprises. So dosa is made, so it's a rice pancake and it's um, made, yeah, they ferment the batter and then the main ingredients are rice, black gram, and then a bit of salt and then it's just left wow. to ferment and then they fry it up. Oh wow! Oh wow! It's like salty and spicy and oily, chili, chili, chili. How we can make the knife? Ta -ta. Oh, that's sexy. Yum. Curry leaves. So these are curry leaves and then dried, fried things. Teresa and Alba are ready to, to go to South India now. Mm, 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 mm. <laughs> what do you think, guys? First dosa experience. Um, I think Teresa loved it. I adored it. Seriously. Uh, uh, I was too full already, but I, <laughs> it was really spicy. But I think, yeah, you like more it, than me. It looked like a baguette, Indian style. And then I was super amazed to find out that it was stuffed. Okay, so it's called Ananthapuram and Dosa was very good, and that fish. Oh, oh the fish, no. the fish, and, the fish. And, and what surrounded the fish? We don't know what was around what it, but was it was it? good. It We've got Alba. <laughs> We've got recording from multiple views. <laughs> Who do we think that we are? <laughs> Paparazzi. No. Mm. Hi. Hi. Hello. Hi. What do you guys want? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I would like to try a few. Yeah, uh, to the view. yeah. You guys have to try this one. Mm. Honey? It's like a sugar yeah, syrup. Yeah, sugar with honey. Yeah. Mm. It's made with the wheat flour mm. and dip in sugar, sugar and it together. It's super it's sweet. Good. Yeah. Mm. It's, the, it's the Indian churro. It's an Indian churro. Sorry? Sorry. But I can see the churro, it is. Mm -hmm. Except and churros are... Same are... in Pakistan or India, same country, they're similar. I'm Spanish, yeah. that's why yeah. I converted. <laughs> to churros, yeah. Can I have a bit more, please? Yeah, sure. I <laughs> love it. Thank you. We've got dessert. Jalebi. Oh, it's so yeah. sticky. Oh. Show me, please. I want to see it. <laughs> Ooh. Uh. Two, five, zero. Uh, Ooh, this is liquid. <laughs> well, this one's my favorite. I, I, when I was a kid, I always used to love the silver on top of it. So fancy. I know. I felt like I was eating jewelry. <laughs> you are a piece of jewelry. <laughs> I 
it's just such a light, milky, sweet, but it's not too sweet. Mm. So you can eat more of it. This one, I could eat the whole thing of it, you know. Still, it would never be my oh, throat of choice. Too heavy, too heavy, very rich, extremely oh, sticky. Rich. Oh. That is like you've got an IV of sugar. Ooh, too sweet. Alright. <laughs> 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 yeah, try that one as well. Very, very, very freshly. Thank you Thank so you much. much. It looks amazing. Wow. It's very freshly made. They've given us this to try. This is their favorite. It looks really good. No, it yeah. is good. <laughs> See, seems like a baklava crush. Ooh. Mm, mm, mm. Oh wow. Mm -hmm. <laughs> We're so <laughs> good, honestly. That was by far the favorite. Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> this is like a, I don't know, like this mm. pastry is the same as the baklava. Mm -hmm. Really? I feel like mm. Hello, sir. <laughs> Here's on the phone. Sorry. We love it so much. This is so, so good. So good. <laughs> the best. Oh wow. Mm. Oh, the texture. Oh. Next time we'll get Welcome. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you so much. Have uh, a good evening. Bye. Bye. Okay, I need to get you guys to try pond. Can we have one, please? So it's like they've never tried pond. Thank you. Yes. Let's no see. clue what it is. We have no idea. Just a little cute butterfly package with a surprise in it. Chan chan. Okay, so some people on my YouTube comments said you're supposed to spit it out. Sometimes some said you're supposed to eat the whole thing in one bite, but I'm gonna allow us to take three separate bites just as a try. Okay, you go first. No I'm sorry I'm breaking the rules, but you know. What's in there? So it's it's like often a rose petal kind of mixed with date jam almost, seeds, nuts. It's after eating and it's supposed to freshen your breath and help that, your digestion. But it's actually a leaf. Yeah, it's a leaf. But it's like you can eat the leaf. Mm. See, it's not bad, right? It's like perfume for your mouth. Yeah. yeah. It's such a journey. It's really? such, it's a, such journey. a journey. Perfume for your mouth. That's a good okay. pond description. Mm. I'm in a tricky part of the journey right now. Up and down, you have to keep chewing and it's helping your digestion. <laughs> I'm not a fast eater, I promise. But this is a new journey. Yeah. Teresa's going through up, she's going through down. It's a roller coaster. It's a roller coaster. Just like life. <laughs> Alba's not that into it. Teresa's still on the journey. Can I show you? <laughs> I don't think I'm gonna put that in the video. You spit it! You spit it! You spit it out! No, 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 no. Can you eat it in one bait? Okay, I can't eat it in one bite, mm. but... I don't get it. Mmm, I love it. Mmm. Maybe it's your childhood what you see in the flavors. I don't know. But yeah, I, when I was little, I never used to eat the whole thing, but I would always take a bite from my mom and stepdad. First time I mm. ate uh, I ate from a leaf. We eat lettuce all the time. Lettuce is a leaf. No, let I'm still chewing. Honestly, like if I think about it, pan is a very different flavor from anything you'd eat in Spain or Canada or Britain, but I love it. Mm. I'm glad. I'm glad. <laughs> <laughs> so I spread the word of pan. One person was a semi convert, one person wasn't into it, and but you should try I like guys. it. I mean, yeah. it's such an experience. <laughs> exactly. I highly recommend it. Even if you don't love it, pan um, is, is a must try. Wow, we're done. I mean, it's dark already. Mm. We just got sucked in by Indian food and that's all we ate. What are you gonna do? We're gonna come back. East Ham has some of the best food in London and it's freaking crazy that we've never been here just because it's on the tube. We're gonna come back for more Indian food but also for more mm. and from Romanian nationalities. Yeah, we yeah. need to try everything. There were, there's so much good South Indian but there's also North Indian and all the other countries. Mm. So, Sri Lanka, yeah. We're gonna travel the world in East Ham. See you next time. Bye. Ciao.